Well guys, I decided to shoot this video laying down on the ground because this is the tank where Warrior was. Unfortunately, um, he passed away just yesterday, he took his last breath and if you know Warrior, he was one of the Oscars I rescued from Petco that were deformed and you know, was companions, companions doing really well, was deformed. Um, they got ick at one period of time and I had to dose the, their tank, not this tank, but the tank they were in with ick all of a sudden he was on his side. So I don't know if he was got in a fight with another fish or whatever the case may be, but I fed Warrior and I'll show you a video right now. You can see me feeding him. Also with feeding Warriors, I put them in a separate tank with less flow. I didn't have a big filter as you guys can see here on the tank. I just had a sponge filter and you can see here an air pump, right? Just to give him some air and I was feeding him manually. So he passed away yesterday and this really sucks. It's a super cool fish and he fight. So he fought. He was a warrior. He wanted to survive. He was breathing and I thought I'd get back to health. Um, I think one mistake I made is that when you have a sponge filter in a tank and you have a fish that may be sick, it's important you do water changes. And what happened, I went about four days without doing water change and the tank looked, smelled pretty bad, it didn't look too well. And I tried yesterday to do a water change. I tried putting prime in there, stability in there. I tried everything I could to make him and he took his last breath. It was pretty sad because he was a fighter. He came from a tank that wasn't well to a tank that actually, or to a fish keeper that cares about the fish. I think I told you guys in one video is that most people buy Oscars and don't realize how big they'll get. Or they buy like a 20 gallon tank like this is and say, well, you know what, I'll buy it as it grows. And most of the time they never do, unfortunately. But for me, it's another sad day, another fish dead. I missed Warrior. It's the first time I ever manually fed a fish and the first time I actually um, did all that. So that was pretty cool. So I'm learning more about this hobby as I encounter different environments and difficult fish. So. As you guys do know, moment of silence for Warrior. <sighs> Thanks for that moment of silence and may Warrior rest in peace. And you guys know this is Ron Johnson, the fish enthusiast, mental health coach, and sous vide therapist. And thanks for listening in. Thanks for watching my videos. More fish are coming inside here, so stay tuned for that. And always, thanks for listening. And don't forget to subscribe.